If someone pulls a gun out to you and they want your stuff, give them your stuff. Your stuff can be replaced. Your ruh cannot. It cannot. It can't be replaced. You understand? Your ruh, de defending your honor, defending your life is the priority, not the dunya. And if you're out there robbing someone, shame on you. The son of Adam's feet won't move until he explains how he earned his money and how he spent his money. How'd you earn your money? Imagine having to explain to Allah on the day of judgment that you robbed someone. Allahu Akbar. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to another episode, another day, another video, whatever you want to call it, but welcome back. The fact that you're back with me right now. I love it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase you, bless you as well. And of course, I'm in the classroom right now, so you know what kind of video it's going to be. I'm a school, yeah, I'm taking you back to school. You know what it is. Um, someone in the comment section, uh, com comment section, and may Allah increase his brother as well. Always, my man, Squidward, uh, the pretty face Squidward, my man. Uh, I don't know his name exactly, but you know, he left this comment about uh, this dude, this rapper named King Vaughn, who died, was killed. Not they didn't die. When you say he died, it sounds like they had a heart attack. I mean, they died. No, they were murdered. They were killed, right? And we're going to talk about why they were killed, why they were murdered. And, like, you know, irrespective if he was a Muslim or not, you know, the brother said that, oh, he was a, he was a Muslim, he took a shahada, you know, so uh, this is, I don't know if he was a Muslim or not, but irrespective if he isn't or not, this, this issue, this problem plagues the Muslim community. And we're going to be talking about that more today as well, too. Uh, the sponsor of this video today is a long-term partner called SQ. I don't, I don't have a sponsor or, or for, for this video or something like that. If you would like to sponsor a video, no problem, uh, because those sponsorships get flipped into a quizzing strangers about Islam for an iPad video, which would be right over here. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's where the title is. I don't know. Right here, here, a video is popping up somewhere. Click it, okay? May Allah increase you guys. Um, yeah, so shout out to all those, the Patreons. Yo, I love you guys so much. I love you guys so, so, so much. Patreons, seriously, thank you so much. Honest to God, I'm, I'm sending you out that WhatsApp number very, very soon, okay? And you guys are going to get the Dean Team t-shirt. The exclusive Dean Team t-shirt, you guys are going to get it. So shout out to you. Shout out to all the people who also won an Amazon gift card yesterday. You see, y'all don't even know. If you stick to the end of the videos, and my videos tend to be sometimes really, really long, I might just surprise you guys with a gift card. So the first seven people who messaged me yesterday uh, got a gift card. I might do something like that again. I might do something like that again. But there's a lot of people who knew they're not getting a gift card, but they still messaged me. So shout out to them. You guys are real ones, you know. I really love and appreciate you so much. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? Not what could you do for me? What can I do for you? What do you need from me? Tell me what kind of content you want. Tell me more in the comment section below. I'll do it. I'll do it. Why? Because my goal is to make Allah happy by making you guys happy as well too. I want to educate you. I want to help you. I want you to help you grow in your deen. I told you. I promised you yesterday. Miswak stick stays. From now on, every video that you see, I have a miswak stick. If you don't see one in it, that means it's an older video that I'm uploading. Keep that in mind. King Vaughn died, murdered. How? SQ, how? For the dunya, for a chain. Murdered outside of a club for his recent, uh, you know, his, his album that was dropping out. Ooh. Yeah, I like your chain. Run your chain. Not going to give up a chain, right? Because my life is not as valuable as my chain. So just remember something right now, okay? Uh, this is not a self-defense class, but I want to let you know something right now. If someone pulls a gun out to you, and they want your stuff, give them your stuff. Your stuff can be replaced. Your ruh cannot. It cannot. It can't be replaced. You understand? Your ruh, de defending your honor, defending your life is the priority, not the dunya. And if you're out there robbing someone, shame on you. The son of Adam's feet won't move until he explains how he earned his money and how he spent his money. How'd you earn your money? Imagine having to explain to Allah on the day of judgment that you robbed someone. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Imagine the punishment for that, but then also imagine all the deeds that you'd have to give someone for usurping their rights. You might not even have any deeds on that day, so you're just going to be taking other people's deeds on top of your piling on top. You scammer, you scammer, that's the problem. A lot of Muslims are just saying, ah, SQ got the goose, SQ got the goose, got the goose, got the goose. Here's the goose. Here's the goose. No, give me the juice back. Right there. Oh, that's the goose. Our SQ got the drink. Ah, uh, I see here's SQ. The goose. I'm not going to run the floor because, you know, you can't dirty your clothes. That's an amount from Allah. You can't dirty your stuff. You know what I mean? Got the goose. Got the 
Goku, I got that shit, got that thing. You know, some of y'all are just blinded by the world, bro. Some of y'all don't, some of y'all are okay with scamming, doing credit card scams, and doing all this extra stuff just to get these things. What barakah and blessings is this gonna bring in your life? What barakah and blessings is it bring in your life? Credit card scam just for the dunya? There's people, important people, I'm not gonna say their names, doing Ponzi schemes. Fake Forex trainings just so they can live a fake life to show you that they're living a great life so that you can invest in them and provide their fake life that they're giving to you. These fake uh, entrepreneurs, their job is to deceive you with these things. People like, but Greg Cardone said it's okay to buy properties. My man is dealing with riba. He doesn't understand riba. He doesn't care about Iba. He doesn't understand the reality they here after. This is their dunya. This is their paradise. Not saying that he can't be guided. I'm not saying that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can't change his heart. But I'm saying that in the mindset that they're in right now, this is their jannah. This is their paradise. This is not our paradise. This is not our jannah. This dunya is a test. Remember that. It's a test. You, some people are gonna have nice things, some people won't have nice things. But it's okay. If you keep focusing on all the things that Allah has given you, you won't developing something called jealousy or hasid or, or ayin, you give ayin to people. No, keep your eyes lower, man. Lower your gaze, lower your gaze. Sometimes some people need to lower their gaze. You can't afford it right now. Set that as a goal. Why not? But make it halal. Some people make these things as goals and they don't care how they get it. They might rob someone, they might do credit card scams, might become scammers just to get a piece of the dunya. Why? People trying to kill people for Yeezys, for chains. Why? We've, and guess what? The same industry that King Vaughn is getting killed in, what is his Ghana about? What are his Ghana about? I don't know, I haven't heard him, but I'm pretty sure something like Ricky Rose, you know, murder Mercedes bands with that bubble that are. Wow, you don't care how I got it though, right? Selling drugs. Selling drugs, that's okay. That's okay. As long as I have the murder Mercedes bands and the bubble double R, right? The double the bubble, whatever it's called, right? That's all you care about the dunya. You just care about getting. You don't care about how. Allah's gonna ask us on the day of judgment. Our feet will not move. We're planted. We're standing in front of Allah. Five questions. Do your homework. What are those five questions? That's one of them. Tell me the other four. Tell me the four fifths question. What is that? Come on, come on, guys. These things aren't worth it. These things aren't worth it. That's why I make those videos. We're giving away the iPad because the. The dunya is whatever, just take it. If I could afford more, I'd do more. But this is what Allah has given me, so I'm doing with this. When Allah gives me more, inshallah, I'm gonna do more, I'll prove it. I'll prove it. Wait till you see the challenges. Wait till you see the 10K giveaways, for real. Not fake 10K giveaways that you're giving to non-Muslims just to show that you're doing something, but in the truth, you're probably making a deal with them, giving them really $100. Cut it out, bro. Doing Ponzi schemes just so that you can look like you're, you're killing it and you're doing so many things, bro. It's fake. It's disgusting. You know, you're leading people the wrong way. I'm not gonna say no names, obviously, because the truth will come to life and on its own. Believe that. You know what I mean? Believe that, bro. Like, that's wrong. Because you're putting the dunya and all these things out. There's nothing wrong with the dunya, guys. Have it, but have one third of it. Have your focus, have your drive, have your mission be one third of the dunya. The other two thirds is your akhirah. It's the hereafter. Right? The other two parts are, you know, uh, the, the hereafter and protect us from the hellfire. That's the true success. And Allah in the mix, if you could sprinkle a little dunya on it, mmm, that sounds like a lovely little. Sunday, I mean like an ice cream Sunday. That's just like I got part hereafter, part hereafter, a little bit of dunya, boom. You got everything, you're rich. You're rich, you know why? Because you're fulfilled. Some people are freaking loaded, but they're unfulfilled, they're broke in here. They have no iman. Your iman makes you rich. You're rich, you're wealthy. You're wealthy. Why you're fulfilled, Allah has given you everything. Everything. The fact that you're not praying, shame on you. Shame on you. This is not to belittle people, but shame on you for not praying to the one who's given you every single thing. That thing that you're disrespecting him with or distracted by for not praying, he gave that to you, you imbecile. Damn. That thing that distracts us, that's preventing us from getting khushu, and we're thinking about this, 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 this. Those things that the dunya is given by Allah, who you're supposed to be focused to praying right now. 
khushu. The problem isn't khushu, the problem is you're not, you're, you're thinking about the things that Allah has given you or what you want or you know, you're distracted by the dunya items that He's given you that you should be focused or praying to right now. Focus, focus. And when you find yourself like losing your thoughts somewhere, recenter your thoughts. Acknowledge that you did that, but recenter your thoughts. And remind yourself you're a work in progress. Things will get better. I love you all. Patreon members, I love you even more, right? I love all of you. Yeah, like the Patreon members, those are the real ones, you know? And I understand some of you I can't donate. I get it. Some of you have 12, some of you have 14, some of you have other real life issues. I get it. Send a dua my way. Those are equally as important, too. I need those duas, guys. We, we are making moves, we're making things happen. I have it. See, only those who actually watch to the end get the benefit. All the real ones out there. Um. I'm doing this Saturday, inshallah. I like saying these things out loud because then it holds me accountable. Alhamdulillah, may Allah make it easy for me. Make the offer for me, guys. Um, this Saturday, I'm doing a Quran Apple Watch social experiment. Okay? We're going to be going up to strangers. Complete strangers. Not fake strangers. Ask the people who record my videos, bro. None of these things are ever staged. We're going to people. Not like these social experiments that you see where they talk to you off camera, then they bring their camera in. No. Okay? These are real. On the spot. Happy. Okay? I made people's privacy. It is what it is, alright? The... <laughs> Quran Apple Watch social experiment. People are gonna get strangers, give them a chance to win an Apple Watch. How? Well, all you gotta do is tell me how this feels, you listen to this, how does it make you feel, and then if you can guess what it was, uh, and you win an Apple Watch. Simple as that. Okay, that's what we have fun. Which surah I'm gonna play? Come on, the real ones know me. The real ones know me. They know exactly what surah I'm gonna play, right? Because you're up here with me. Yeah, up here with me. I love you guys for the sake of Allah. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Wait until I can really do things in this world. Wait until I can really do things in this world. Inshallah, I'm gonna be flying you guys to Umrah. Oh my God! Oh my God, Inshallah, I'm gonna be flying you guys to Umrah. We're gonna take, I don't care if it's a private jet, I don't care if we gotta rent a whole freaking jumbo jet. I don't care if we get anyone, not, we're gonna go to Umrah together. And I, like, look, I don't know how big this channel might become one day, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what my ceiling is about with this. But I'll tell you this right now, that there's no way that I'm not taking a boatload of people for Umrah. There's no way. Because you see, when I promise you, and I'm throwing a sub at someone right now, which I won't say their name. When I promise you I'm taking you to Umrah, I mean that. I don't just say it for the views over the camera. Let's go. The real ones know. May Allah keep me sincere. May Allah keep me sincere and allow me to truly help the world the way I want to help the world. May Allah use me as an instrument for His deen. I'm a nobody. Don't you ever think this is something. I'm going to take this off too. But I'm wearing a banana underneath. I'm just wearing a banana, so I'm not going to take it off, alright? The real ones know what a banana is, alright? They don't know what a banana is. You don't know what a banana is? And this channel is not for you. I mean what I say, I'm saying. I love you so much. It means undership. It means uh, wife beater, tank top, call it what you want. Right? I love you guys. Take a Allah. Um, I would tell you to check out these videos right here, but more than likely, if you're staying till the end of this video, more than likely you've probably seen all those videos already. Uh, but leave me a comment. Leave a nice little note down there, and I'll reply to you, inshallah. Love you all for the sake of Allah. And until next time, I don't know what next time is, but inshallah it's tomorrow. I'm out. Assalamu alaikum, guys. I am so sorry about the audio. Uh, what happened was that when I got a little too overexcited with the Canada Goose takeoff jacket thing, I must have pressed the, the, the record button and it stopped recording. So once I got to my computer, I'm like, whoa, wait a second. I didn't record anything. So I felt really bad. I was going to record the whole video again. But after I watched it on my older laptop, because my new laptop right now is being serviced at Apple, like it's kharab and I might lose every single thing I have on that so make dua for me and become a Patreon so you can support these sort of things because these are the types of expenses I have uh, subhanAllah um, I, I have to use this old laptop but alhamdulillah it's working and I'm just editing it right now I saw it I'm just like you know what the video is actually uh, pretty authentic so I want to keep it there. I didn't want to redo it because then I might lose some of the authenticity so sorry about the audio it'll be better tomorrow inshallah love you all for the sake of Allah and we'll talk very very soon I love you three Wassalamu alaikum.